Today we consider how to use VirtualBox, a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. First of all, download VirtualBox from this site. If you click on this link, it will open VirtualBox website. From here, you can download VirtualBox for different types of OS. Here, I'm selecting Windows Host. Click on this link. OK. Yeah. Now, click Save button. Now, for installing VirtualBox, you have to run this download application. Double click on this. Yeah, now you can see the VirtualBox installation wizard. Click on next button. Yeah, accept the agreement. OK. Now, VirtualBox will be installed on this location. If you want to change, browse your new location and click next button. OK. Now, if you want to create a shortcut on desktop or quick launcher, check this and click next button. OK, yes, now you get a warning message saying that if you install VirtualBox, your network will be reset so that your application will be affected temporarily. So you should be careful about your network applications. If everything is OK, click S button. And now click install. Yes, now you can see the installation is completed. Uncheck this and click finish button. OK, go to desktop. Double click on this VirtualBox shortcut. OK, this is the interface for VirtualBox. Yes, for installing another operating system using VirtualBox, click on this new button. Yeah, this is the virtual machine installation wizard. Click next button. Yeah, give a proper name for your operating system. Here I'm typing Windows Me. Yeah, and select what kind of operating system that you want to install. You can install Windows, Linux, Solaris, anything. I'm selecting Windows. And what is the version of popular system that you're going to install? Here I'm selecting Windows 7 system for base. OK. Now click Next button. In this interface, you can assign the memory size that will be used for RAM for this operating system. Out of 3 GB, I'm selecting only 512 MP for this operating system. That means 512 MP will be used as a RAM for this operating system. Now click next button. This interface asks whether a new hard disk will be created or if you have any existing hard disk, you can use it here. I'm creating a new one. Now click next button. Now click next. Yeah. Here you can select whether the new hard disk is dynamically expanded or it is a fixed size. I'm saying it is a dynamically expanded. Now click next button. Yeah. Now, what's the size of hard disk that you're going to assign for this operating system? I am giving a 10 GB hard disk for this operating system from a hard disk. Yeah, it is 10 GB. Now, its name is Windows Me. We are assigned a 10 GB hard disk for this. Now, click next button. Yes, now you can see the summary screen. You can see it is dynamically expanded and the location and what's the size of the hard disk provided? Yeah. Now click finish button. Now you can see on the list of virtual machine, Windows Me that we have already created is listed. Its status is powered off. If we go to the settings, we can see so many tabs. General information, system information and all other type of information is available under this settings window. If you go to the general section, you can see Windows 7 is the OS. Under system tabs, you can change the RAM size. We have given 512 MP. If you want to increase it, you can increase it here. For the information like display, storage, audio, network, everything will be changed at this settings window. Click OK button. Yeah. For booting Windows 7, click on the storage icon and you have to select a CD drive or an image, ISO image. Here, I'm adding an image of Windows 7 from my system. Yes, I have added an ISO image of Windows 7 from my system and this will be used for booting this Windows OS. Select this. OK. Now you have seen the CD booting device is Windows 7. Click OK. So the first step is to install Windows 7 on this freshly created Windows Me. Click Start button. Here you can select the language specification. Yeah. If everything is OK, click Next button. Yes. Now 
For installing Windows 7, click on Install Now button. This will install Windows 7 on your virtual machine. Here I'm not showing all the phases of Windows 7 installation, but yeah, I'm now on this final stage. It's completing installation. Yes, now you can see Windows 7 is ready in sealed virtual box. Next step is to install guest edition for this virtual box. For that, click on the devices and select install guest edition. Yes, now guest edition software is available as CD drive in sealed virtual box. Click on run virtual box guest editions. Yeah. Click yes. This will install guest edition inside this virtual box. Click next. I agree. Yeah, next. Yeah. Install. After successful installation, it will ask for reboot. Click on finish button. Yeah. Now it's rebooting. Yes. Here you have to enter the password. Now, if you notice, the screen size is enlarged. It's mainly because we have installed guest edition. Yeah, if you go to the machine and select enter full screen mode, it will be in full screen. Yeah, if you notice, it's now in full screen mode. If you want to change to any other mode, downside, you can select machine and exit full screen or seamless mode. Switch to seamless mode. This is called seamless mode. Yes. So that's all about video configuration. How virtual box look inside host. Now let's consider how we attach more devices like CD device, USB device, etc. For that you need to go to the devices and select. If you want to change CD drive or DVD drive, select this one and select as per your requirement. If you want to attach more USB devices, if you connect to the USB port, it will be displayed here. You can select from this option. If you want to attach more network adapters, you can select from this section. Or if you want to attach more folder from your network location or from host itself, just click the share folder icon. It will give options to attach more folders to this virtual machine. You can set the permission also. Yeah. So that's all about attaching more devices like CD device or USB device to the virtual machine. If you consider the shortcut keys for this virtual machine, you have to notice host plus F that means right control button is the host key. That means right control button plus F gives full screen mode. For seamless mode, right control button plus L gives seamless mode. So these are the some of the shortcut keys that you have to notice. Force plus G, Force plus A for adjust window size. For shutting down, Force plus H. For reset, that means for restart, Force plus R. For pausing the virtual machine, Force plus P. These shortcut keys will be much easier when you operate virtual machine. Another thing is that when you close virtual machine, you have three options. We can save the virtual machine state, current state, or we can send the shutdown signal to the virtual machine itself. Or you can close without any notification. That means all will be shut down by powering off the machine. Yeah, like this. Click on OK button. Everything is closed. So here we have considered how to install virtual machine and set up any operating system. Instead of Windows, you can select any other operating system. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit. Technmark.in for more information.